I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll discuss how to solve problems based on three-dimensional solids. I have two questions here. You can pause the video, copy these questions, work them out, and then look into my suggestions. The very first question here is, A, B, C, D, E is a rectangular base pyramid with sides of length A, B equals to 8 centimeter and B, C equals to 6 centimeters. Find the angle that 10 centimeter slant edge, which is this, A, E, makes with the ground. And B is, find the angle that the oblique triangular face, B, C, E, makes with the edge BC. Question number two is, A, B, C, D, E is a rhombus-based pyramid with sides of length and height of X centimeter. Length of one of its diameter is also X centimeter. Find the angle of elevation from the end of the other diagonal to the top of the pyramid. And part B is, find the angle that the face makes with the edge. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's take a solution to question number one first. In question number one, we are given A, B, C, D is the base, E is the vertex, that is a rectangular base pyramid with sides of length A, B, 8 centimeter, B, C, 6 centimeter. So here's a sketch for you. So AB is 8 centimeters. Let me write 8 here and 6 centimeter for BC. Find the angle that the 10 centimeter slant edge. Now this is the edge AE over just 10 centimeters. Okay, so all dimensions are in centimeters. It says makes with the ground. So which is that angle which it makes with the ground? Now the angle which it makes with the ground is right here this angle. So this is the edge and that's the ground. So to find this angle, what we normally do is we can use the diagonal itself and the and the edge and can find this particular angle. Right? So I hope that question part is clear to you. Now part B is find the angle that the oblique triangular face BCE makes with the edge BC. So this is the edge BC and the face is right there. So to find this angle, what we need to do is that we need to connect with the center, the center of the edge, and the angle which you get here is the angle which we need to figure out. Now I hope both the angles are absolutely clear, so you should be in a position to find the solution. Now let's begin to solve this question. Now, we are given the two sides of the rectangle, we can find the diagonal AC using Pythagorean theorem. So, AC is equal to square root of AB square plus BC square, which is square root of 8 square plus 6 square. And that is 10, right? 64 and 36, square root 10. So we know now A to C. We can find what AO is. AO is equal to half of AC, which is half of 10, and that is 5 centimeters. So we know what A to O is. Now, we need to find the angle. We know AE and AO. Now, in this particular case, we know this is a right angle triangle, right? So here, it is a right angle triangle. And therefore, we can use the ratio to find trigonometric ratios to find the angle. We're looking into hypotenuse and the adjacent side. So, cosine of this angle will be the solution, correct? Let's call this angle as alpha. So, we can say cos alpha is equal to AO over AE. 
and alpha will be equal to cos inverse of let me write down AO is given to us we just found as 5 and AE is 10 so it is half so you're looking for cos of half right so as you know cos of half is of 60 degrees so this answer is 60 degrees so we get the answer for part A which is that the angle of edge angle equals to 60 degrees perfect so we have one of our solutions now let us see how to find the other solution which is now we need to figure out the angle that the oblique triangular face BCE makes with the edge so we're looking into this triangular face and BC is the edge so what we need to do here is to find the midpoint of BC so the steps involved will be we'll find the midpoint BC which is M now join that M with the center center is O so we know OM is equal to now OM is half of AB AB is 8 so it is half of 8 which is 4 so we know one side which is 4 but we don't know the height yet to find the height we can use the information AO is known to us which we calculated earlier so first let us find the height of this pyramid so E to O will be equal to so triangle EOA is a right angle triangle so it'll be 10 square minus AO square AO was 5 so 10 square minus 5 square which is square root of that let me just write square root here insert it in between okay which is square root of 75 so now we know EO also now since we know EO the height of the pyramid and the base length MO we can find the angle using tan ratio correct so we can call this angle as uh, beta okay so we'll say tan beta is equal to EO over OM which is square root of 75 over 4 so so we can find beta as tan inverse of square root of 75 over 4 so let's use the calculator to find this answer so we get shift tan inverse square root 75 divided by 4 and that is equal to 65.2 degrees So that becomes the answer for part B and we can say that the face makes an angle of 65.2 degrees with base. Is that clear to write? Now we've done this question. The second question i like you to do yourself. Question number two here is A, B, C, D, E is a rhombus based pyramid. That means the sides A, B, C, D, E are of equal length. Why? However, they're not at right angles now. Okay. And these lengths are all X. Let me write X here. Centimeter. Length of one of its diagonal is also X. So let us assume that DB is also X. Right? So we are saying AB equals to x which is also equal to db and of course the other side so we can say equals to bc and also ad for us okay find the angle of elevation from the end of the other diagonal to the top of the pyramid so basically 
the other diagonal is AC. So we can find the angle between the edge AE and the diagonal AC. So that is the angle which we need to find. Now in this case, we are given that these three sides are equal. Right? So this side is equal to the other diagonal and this. That means that the triangle ADB or ABD is equilateral triangle. So that means all the angles given to us are 60 degrees in the base, right? So we have 60 degrees angles. So that helps us to uh, find the dimensions. So we have this as 60 degrees, the base angle. Let me write down. So we know that we're looking into the base only. This angle is equal to 60 degrees. Now let us look into the triangle ABO. Triangle ABO is a right angle triangle. Since the rhombus diagonals intersect at 90 degrees, correct? So this angle here is 90 degrees. We know this angle here is 60 degrees. So we can now find AO in this particular diagram, right? So let's find AO now. We can use the sine ratio since this is opposite and that's the hypotenuse x. So we know sine of 60 is equal to AO over the hypotenuse AB. And so we get AO as equal to AB sine 60. So we get AO equals to AB is X and sine 60 is square root 3 over 2. Right? So we get the length AO. Once you know what is AO, which is right there, you're given the height. Since it is given that height is also X, right? Length and height. So height is also x. So we can find the angle of elevation, correct? So we know EO is also equals to x. So we can use the tangent ratio to find the angle. Let's call this angle as alpha, the elevation angle. So we have tan alpha as equal to EO over AO, which is X over square root 3 over 2 X. X, X cancel, we get 2 over square root 3. So we have the angle alpha equals to tan inverse of 2 over square root 3. So let's find this answer using calculator. Shift tan inverse within brackets, 2 divided by square root 3, and that gives you 49.10. So I'll write here 49.1 degrees. Is that clear to you? So we get this answer as for part A, angle alpha is equal to 49.1. Now part B is find the angle that face makes with the edge. So this is the face which we'll talk about, A, B, C. So we'll again take the center point, which is M in this case, and that angle beta, which we need to figure out. Is that clear to you? Now this angle again, we know the height, which is X, 
and this side is half of x, x by 2. So you can use the tangent ratio. So for part b, we have tan beta equals to x over x by 2 or 2. And that gives you beta equals tan inverse of 2. Right? So we can use the calculator again. Shift tan inverse of 2 gives us a value of 63.43. So we get the angle beta equals to 63.4 degrees. Is that clear to you? So that is how you can find it out. So whenever you have pyramid based 3D questions, that should be your approach. Two terms which you learned here are the angle which is made by the face. So whenever we say face, we mean to see this particular side. Do you see this whole face makes with the edge and that is the edge for you. Is that clear to you? And the other angle which we have been talking about, and this angle is made found by finding joining the midpoint and the angle in between. So that is the angle. And the angle of elevation will be the angle which will be made by one of the edges with the ground. So that is the angle which is made with the edges. So I hope these two angles are absolutely clear. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.